They're twisting them and making them say what they want them to say. Telling people all kinds of things that the Bible don't say. And telling them the Bible means something when it means something else. You know, they're just forming their opinions. Well, you know, this and that, you know. This means that. No, it don't. You let the Holy Ghost tell you. You get them the word for yourself and let the Holy Ghost reveal it to you what the Bible says. I know it, praise God. This is a, this is a, it's been proved many times. I've seen it proved many times. People that stand on the word of God and you say, well, so-and-so stood on the word of God and they still died. Did they? Did you know? Did you really know? Could you really see their thoughts? You know, it's another, it's one thing to say, by, yes, I know, by Jesus' stripes I'm healed. Yeah, by Jesus' stripes I'm healed. But do you really believe it? Have you really got it in you? Do you talk about it more than you talk about anything else? But the x-ray said that the tumor was still there. Do you believe what God's word said over what the x-ray said? Oh, God, have mercy. I'll tell you what. People are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. This thing is serious. It's life or death. This thing is life or death. You get into the word. You get that life of God in you. It's detrimental, and I, ca I can't express to you this morning how important it is for you to get into the Word of God and believe what God said. The Bible says that every man be a liar and God be true. Every man be a liar and God be true. God's not a man that he should lie. Mm-mm-mm. So, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Cease from yielding fruit. And it goes on to say in verse 9, it says something else here. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? A lot of people says, well, <clears throat> I'm just going by my heart. Just going what I feel in my heart. And what's that? What, what do you feel in your heart? Is, it go what, is what you feel in your heart going against what the Word says? And it says in 1 John, I think it is that God is greater than our hearts. God is greater than our hearts. So, you know what? God wants our hearts. When we line our hearts up uh, with the Word of God, God said in Psalms, I think it's 34, either chapter 37, that He would give us the desires of our heart. Say, Lord, I want a heart after you. I want a heart that's right. And you know what? God will put His... Uh, now, this is not saying that whatever uh, I desire, a big home and two or three automobiles and stuff like that, it's saying that God will put his desires in our heart. God will give us the desires of our hearts. God will put his desires in our heart, but you have to let him. It's just like healing, just like salvation. You have to let him do it. You have to receive him to do that. And say, Lord, your will be done in my life. And you don't say, Lord, your will be done in my life. And then go out here and just do everything all day and just have your mind anywhere but God. You don't do that. You have to invite him in. You've got to keep your mind stayed on the Lord. Because Proverbs, I think it's 3 and 6, it says uh, that he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Whose mind is stayed on the Lord. And when you get up in the morning and you've got your mind on the Lord and thank you, Lord, for this day that you've made and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it and be thinking about the Lord all day, you say, well, you're just living in some fantasy world. No, I'm not. You know what? We're living in the world and, yes, we relate to the world around us. But you know what? You don't have to let the world around you get you down. You don't have to be burdened with the cares of this world because God said... <clears throat> Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, on you, and learn of me, because I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your, unto your souls. And he said, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. See, when you get up in the morning and you think about all these things and the world and stuff like that, the world just keeps piling burdens on you. Keeps, it's got a yoke around your neck. But you know what? The yoke you wear determines the burdens you bear. 
And if you're wearing the yoke of the world, you're going to be burdened down with all kinds of things. But you know what? You're free in God. If you'll come unto him and wear his yoke, he said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. My yoke is easy. So be careful what yoke you wear. And if you'll come unto Jesus, come unto Jesus, give him your heart today. Come unto Jesus, let him have his way. Come unto Jesus, give him your heart. And all these things will be added to you. Matthew